Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. And first things first, happy Thanksgiving. And you may find that really, really strange that somebody from the UK sat here in England has celebrated, or celebrating rather, Thanksgiving. And that sounds really quite strange, doesn't it? I know. Absolutely. It's not really at all celebrated here in the UK. But however, a couple of years ago, and I say a couple of years ago, we're probably getting on for around about maybe 10, maybe 12 years now. I really, really was taken back by the idea of Thanksgiving, and I spent a lot of time looking into it. It was something which really kind of, you know, when something takes over your mind and you can't, you, you keep looking into it, you keep researching it. And Thanksgiving was one of those things for me. And I actually said to my mum one day that we have so much to be thankful for. And I kind of started it. It was when I was sort of mid-teens, I think. And I kind of said to my mum coming up to Thanksgiving that actually we have so much to be thankful for. I want to do Thanksgiving dinner. I want us all to be sat on the table. I want us to really sort of slow everything down and really just be together and have a really nice time and kind of in a way set the tone for Christmas. And do you know what? As the years have gone on, I have kept to this tradition and I have either either cooked the Thanksgiving meal myself or my mum has done it or we've done it together. This year my mum has done that and it was absolutely beautiful. So this year rather than turkey we had goose and do you know what it's just something which has become a real tradition in our family home. So for me what does it all mean? So for me personally of course I'm not American. We have an American in our family and that's my eldest brother's partner and she's absolutely a lovely lady. But you know what? We didn't even have her here for dinner. But what it is, is that it's just the actual taking the time to appreciate what we have, the appreciation of each other, slowing life down and appreciating that life is truly a gift. And you know what? More than most, we all know that this year, how much life has been taken due to COVID and how we have all taken things for granted. And you know what, more so this year, it really stands really, really poignant for me that we are all so grateful. We have to be, but we're all so fortunate. And very often we say things in the spur of the moment, or we argue with our loved ones, or we say things which we don't necessarily mean. But if that wasn't to be the case anymore, or if they weren't to be around anymore, or for example, something which you do or someone you love or someone you cherish wasn't around anymore, or, or they weren't there to sort of perhaps talk to in the way sometimes we take for granted and which we do sometimes, and we're all guilty of that. And I think right, right in that second when you think that, your heart kind of stops and you feel a little bit sick. And I really, really think even if it's just for one time, it's really incredible to sort of take the tone and really just switch everything down, really, really slow everything down and enjoy, even if it's just for a couple of hours, enjoy each other's company, enjoy sharing, enjoy that appreciation of love which we have in our families and for those who are so dear to us and who mean the world to us. Now, okay, this year that's been difficult, that's been absolutely difficult and I imagine most people all around the world have been so frustrated with how this year has gone and how we've had to have our lives so disrupted. But in a way, that kind of keeps us thinking that actually, let me reevaluate my life. Let me reevaluate how I lead my life. Let me reevaluate how I treat others. And you know what? It really does make me want to slow life down, number one because I'm so concentrating on the end sort of game, the end where I want to be, rather than the actual present now, rather than concentrating on what's going right now. For example, sharing a lovely time with family, sharing a lovely meal with family, even just sharing a few drinks with some real treasured friends or a brother or a sister or a girlfriend or a partner or just really, really taking the appreciation of what we have. That's what really, really took, <sighs> took me kind of really sort of really changed and it really gave such an impression to me when I learned this as a child, Thanksgiving. And yes, okay, we're not American, but do you know what? We can share that story. We can 
take something truly special away from that. And do you know what we have? And for many years now, it's been a tradition in my family home. Um, and me and my mum both share that. I'm very, very close to my parents. They are my best friends. Um, I'm anybody who watches my channel. I am extremely close to all of my family. My nan is my absolute, absolute gift from God. And um, I am very blessed, very blessed to have a, a truly amazing, amazing family. And my, my brothers, my nieces, my nephews, my grandparents. Absolutely. So I have a lot to be thankful for, as we all do. And do you know what? After such a real difficult year, for me and for my family, it's a real nice, just that, just even of an evening, it's that nice, poignant sort of way as that gateway to hopefully an amazing festive season and, of course, into Christmas. And that's usually how we look at it, because, of course, then here, wherever you are, I don't know if everybody celebrates um, Christmas in the way that perhaps possibly we do in the Western world. Um, but it is such a special time of the year, and I truly do believe that especially this time of year, that magical things happen. And from one of my favourite Christmas films, I love the saying, miracles happen every day. You just have to keep your eyes open for them, though, don't you? That's the thing. So for me, it's all about it's all about appreciation. It's all about coming together with those who you love, sharing something, even if it's the most lavish of thing or a lavish meal, rather, or banquets, or even if it's the most simplest moments. It really is just so special to take that time and just celebrate it with other people. And if you can't this year, then pick up that phone and speak to somebody. Literally break the routine of what you are doing. Break the routine of what you're doing right now. It might be that you are doing something which you do every night. Break the mould. Pick the phone up. Speak to somebody. Tell people, your family, your friends, what they mean to you. Because if this year has taught us anything, you really do not just know what is around the corner. And I hope we can all enjoy a very healthy and safe festive season. And I hope that we can all go into 2021 healthy and well. But let's just remember that all those people who have lost their lives due to this COVID pandemic aren't going to be celebrating this one, this festive season this year. And I find that just gut-wrenchingly sickening. And my heart goes out to those families and those individuals who are breaking. And I just, I cannot think for one minute what that must feel like. So I think even though Thanksgiving is for America, it really does teach us something truly truly very special and it's something which has been in my family now for many years um, but this year it holds a very slightly different but treasured meaning so wherever you are and whoever you are watching this thank you very much indeed have a fantastic thanksgiving love those around you tell them what they mean to you show appreciation show love and keep talking and do you know what Never, ever put off a day or an hour or however long to really, really tell that person, whether it be your wife, your husband, your parents, your grandparents, your brothers, your sisters, your nieces, your nephews, your uncle, your aunt, whoever it is, never put off telling them or letting them know just how very special they are to you. Thanks very much for watching this one. And I have to admit, it really does. Um give me quite a warm feeling doing this clip. So I really, really hope that you've enjoyed this one. I hope, like me, you take something away from what I'm trying to convey in this clip, that just because something means something, such as Thanksgiving in one part of the world, it can be celebrated elsewhere. It can have a very special, true meaning in all of our hearts, and it certainly does for me and in my family as well. So once again, thank you very much indeed for watching my clip, and I wish you all the good health in the world and i hope that we all and whoever is watching this that we can all enjoy a very safe festive season which is coming up and an amazing christmas thank you very much indeed for watching this and until next time we will see you then bye bye now